Hello everyone, my name is Quali and welcome to a video on toroids, resources you will need a lot of. They're used for a couple of things, mainly as standing for Vox Solaris and also making some weapons, warframes and cosmetics. But yeah, let's just see the kinds of toroids first. There is two kinds, all of them found in the Orvalis on Venus. The first ones are normal toroids and the second ones are boss toroids, but first let's go over the normal ones. There is three kinds of them, Vega, Calda and Sola toroids, and there is a few ways to get them. First one is from the enemies at specific locations, Vega toroids are dropped from enemies at the spaceport, Calda toroids are dropped from enemies at enrichment labs, and Sola toroids are dropped from the enemies at the Temple of Prophet. The main way I myself farm toroids is by going inside any of the places and leaving enemies alive until one of them places down the alert beacon. Then I just kill everyone that comes till the alert level is max and then I go to a different location. The main reason behind that is that the enemies just stop spawning at alert level 4 for some reason, so yeah, you are kind of forced to do that. There is also some difference between the locations regarding the enemy spawn rates. I myself love the enrichment labs just because they are not that complex. You can just stay in one hallway and play the normal Warframe experience pretty much. The Temple of Prophet is divided in two spaces, the above one and the below one, which means enemies may just stop spawning at some point if you are underground for example, because they will spawn above. And the spaceport is just huge, which is not the greatest of things, but you will get more than enough Vega toroids there. Obviously, farming toroids with a squad is suggested, the more enemies there is, the more you will get. The drop rate of toroids is 2% from any enemy that is in the locations we mentioned before, so farming a few shouldn't be that hard to you. Now let's go to the second way to get toroids, and that is by killing rachnoids, the robotic spiders that are all around the orb valis when playing bounties. The green ones will drop Vega toroids, the orange ones the Calda toroids, and the big green ones the Sola toroids. These toroids should be more of a bonus, there is no reliable way again actually farming these rachnoids. So yeah, let's go to the third way. The third way is looking for the toroids in the caves of Borvalis. There is a chance you get toroids this way, but you will need to remember the cave spots and fly around for a long time because the toroids might not spawn at all. I myself would not advise farming toroids this way just because it is boring as frick. It is much more fun to kill enemies and get other resources by the side. The fourth way is getting the toroids from heists, which you can find in the back room at Bis and Utico. To access the heist, you actually have to be rank 5 with Solaris United, which is a major turnoff for most of the people. The drop chance of toroids per stage is actually 12.5%, which is not that bad, but if you are actually farming them, don't do it. Consider them a bonus. And that is actually it for the normal toroids, they are quite easy to get, you just need to be prepared and that is it. Now we will take a look at the boss toroids we mentioned before. Charisma Toroids and Lazulite Toroids Charisma Toroids are acquired through Profit Taker boss fight, which you can start from the back room similar to the other heists. This boss fight is extremely challenging for the first few times, impossible even if playing solo and not knowing exactly what you are doing. I already made a guide about it, which you can find in the upper right corner right now, but to at least tell you about the Charisma Toroids, after the Prophet Taker is destroyed, you will get the Charisma Toroid, which is really freaking good because you get 6000 standing with Vox Solaris from it. Six times more than the normal Toroids. But let's go to the other boss, the Exploiter Orb's Lazurite Toroid. This Toroid is even better, giving you 12,000 standing. Again, you just get it by destroying the Exploiter Orb, a hard boss to fight, which is also my favorite one. If you want to know how to kill it, there is also an annotation in the upper right corner, similar to the Profit Taker one, so the fight is quite complex. And with this, we actually ended the Toroid Farming Guide. There is a lot of things you need them for, the Toroids, Warframes, Weapons, Standing, Amp Parts, stuff like that. You also need them for advancing with Vox Solaris in the back room. The first three normal ones, Vega, Calda and Sola Toroids give you 1000 standing each and the boss Toroids give you lots more, Charisma Toroid 6000 and Lazulite Toroid 12000. My advice to farming Toroids is not to look only at the Toroids but also at other loots such as 
relics, mods, debt bonds, and obviously fun. It is just a game, don't burn yourself out over freaking Warframe. For farming toroids I also have some tips and other stuff worth mentioning. First one is the resource drop booster and resource double booster. They both work on normal Vega, Calda and Sola toroids but for the boss toroids, the Charisma and Lazulite only the double resource booster works. Also going in with any loot boosting warframes is obviously recommended, such warframes are Necros, Korra, Hydroid, Evara, more and more. And the last tip, which I cannot stress more than with this picture, this is my Smita Kavat, Natsu. He was a good boy and doubled my loot 5 times the normal amount, so instead of 2 toroids which I should have gotten with the double resource booster, I got not 4, not 8, not 16, not 32, but actually 60 freaking 4 in a second about 200 in a couple of seconds while the effect was still active. So yeah, get the Smita Kavat, they are good boys. But for real this is actually it, if you have any questions be sure to leave them down in the comments, please like, comment, share and maybe even subscribe, and also have a nice day. Bye guys!